Finally! Oh, I am so sorry I'm late. Started to worry you'd fallen down a crevasse and got your arm stuck. You know, like in that film. <laughs> Never fear, I'm always prepared. Whenever I go out into the big outdoors, I always carry a penknife secreted in my bra. I'd be able to hack off my arm in a jiffy. Yeah, well, why doesn't that surprise me? Don't tell me. You were a girl guide. Brown owl? I never clambered those giddy heights, I'm afraid. Barn owl was as far as I got. It was all politics. Do you know, Summer, I really don't see Norris as the great outdoors type. Just can't imagine him merrily skipping up some sort of crag like a mountain goat. <laughs> Shall I put the kettle on? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. I'm parched. So, did you come down from the lakes this morning, then? No. Uh, I got an urgent text from Mother yesterday while we were still away, so I, um... I, I left Norris there and, and stayed with her last night on the way home. What was the big emergency? Oh, wanted a tuna sandwich and reckoned she couldn't find the tin opener. <laughs> well, aren't they all ring pulls these days? Oh, she, uh, she almost lost an eye once trying to open a Dr. Pepper's on the back of a golf buggy, so uh, she has a morbid fear of ring pulls since then. Well, at least you got to spend the evening with her, eh? Well, if you can call it that. She barely said two words all night. I mean, ever since she's got the satellite TV, she spends every evening flicking through the various foreign news channels with her eyes closed, <laughs> trying to guess the nationality of the newsreaders. <laughs> Bizarre. I said, Mother! Mother, at least close the front windows. I mean, it's not nice for the neighbours, is it? Hearing the name of various Eastern European countries booming around the cul-de-sac of a night. <laughs> Mary, will you cut the stems on them for me? Yes, I, I don't know what them in number five must think. They've only just moved here from Lithuania. Must be very disconcerting. Are these for today? Yep, it's the naming ceremony of baby Battersby later. Hey, you'll never guess what. Peter is in the clear, you know, for attacking my dad. Oh, that is excellent news. A witness has come forward, as if he could do that to dad. Oh, I don't know. The pressures between parents and children can often reach critical mass. Yeah. Uh, Mary, why don't you get on with that tea, eh? Yeah, sorry. It's miles away. <laughs> ah! Ah! What is it? Are you all right? Is it your Moroccan kidney? Oh, Mary, of course it's not. It's my dad. He's finally transferred the funds, you know, to buy the shop off Peter. We're safe! 